Yo, what is up YouTube and welcome to my first video. Today we are going to unbox and build the EG68 Aurora Snow. I got this keyboard for roughly around 170 euro from Eloquent Clicks. It's a wired version of this kit and it comes in this nice like grey sway washed out uh, carrying case and it feels really premium, I really like it. If you don't own a cable yet, I think it's nice that this white coiled cable is included. It feels quite good, nothing special though. Once I get the snow edition from this kit, the top frame is made out of aluminum. It feels quite premium, it's like a white matte and it feels really smooth to the touch. I don't know how resistant it is with uh, scratches or anything like that, but uh, I guess time will tell. Also included with every icky are tons of silicon dampeners, like this plate dampener, the silicon weight, the silicon for the battery compartment, and lastly the silicon bottom. For the bottom case, this is made out of plastic, like a milky white, it's shine through, especially with the underglow RGB that this board has. Uh, you gotta be careful with tightening the screws though, because the case is known to crack easily. Furthermore, we get these two small bags, these contain the well known icky batch that is magnetic, as well as rubber feet, some spare hot swap sockets, boron and silicone gaskets. The screws and a small tool for them. The batch holder. In my case these chips are useless though since I don't have a plastic top frame. Would be nice to see a small window or something on the aluminum one but sadly it doesn't have that. Next up we got the Bodo Hot Swap PCB. It has a thickness of around 1.2mm, tons of flex cuts for a softer typing experience. RGB underglow, UMK and VS support, and what is special about the Iki is that it supports so many layouts. By default there's also a polycarbonate plate included in the kit, it's also very flexy and I think it's a nice combination especially with the silicon dampening. Not included in the kit is this weight that I got second hand, even though it won't be visible, I think it looks really nice and definitely adds some more weight to the board. For the stabilizers I used 1.2mm TX steps that I had laying in my shelf for quite a while. These are looped with XHT BDZ on the wires and 205 grade 0 on the housing. Let me tell you, these stabilizers are my favorite by far. They're easy to install, no need for holy mod or anything like that. And they come with these small counterparts so the steps won't pop out. If you get any other clip and stabilizers, you could also use a toothpick instead. Just clip it in between and then cut it off. Sadly, the stabilizers weren't looped properly enough, so I had to go back with some XHT BDZ which I put in a syringe and slowly inserted it to the part where the step wires clip in.
For this build I went with KTT Halu Halu, their loop with 205 grade 0, no film, nothing. And I think these switches are absolutely worth it, especially for the money. Next up I installed the switches, but as you can see on screen I forgot to install the silicon dampener, so I had to redo this whole process off camera. And let me tell you, these switches, they are so gorgeous. As you can see I already installed the gaskets, and next up is the batch holder. And now forward to what you might think is the easiest step, putting it all back together. But be careful, if you screw the housing too tight, it's going to crack. I also tried other boards like the KVD67 before, they didn't have this issue. But uh, on the icky it seems to be common, so um, just be really cautious when screwing it back together. And oh boy, I cannot get over how pretty these switches look. For the keycaps, I decided to treat myself good and get my first set of GMK keycaps. These are the GMK Polybius, and I think it's really nice that the novelties on this kit are like uh, so colorful and you don't have to buy them extra. Since this is my first set of GMK keycaps, um, and I never really owned uh, a real one, <laughs> I always bought them on AliExpress. Uh, I think it's absolutely worth it, especially if you found a set that you like. The print is really nice and they feel way different than the fake PBT ones. And finally, the most pretty part to me about this keyboard, installing the badge. It looks so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I will leave you with the sound test for now and see you in the next one.